Do you want more out of your Chromebook? Do you want to run popular open source software like Audacity, Blender, and GIMP? Well, why not install Linux on your Chromebook? Hi everyone, this is Lou's Tech Source, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Linux on your Chromebook in parallel to Chrome OS. This is not a dual boot solution, so you won't have to restart your Chromebook every time you want to switch between OS's. Linux will be running in parallel to Chrome OS, and you will be able to switch between them by just pressing a keyboard combination. We set this up by way of Crouton. Crouton is a set of scripts that allows an installation of Linux to run in parallel to Chrome OS. Now let's get right to it. A word of warning. For this to work, your Chromebook must be in developer mode. You are sacrificing security for total control by doing that. If you do not know how to get into developer mode, look at the description for a link to a video I created on turning on developer mode. Now if you still want to go ahead with this, then let's continue. When logged into Chrome OS, the first thing you want to do is go to the GitHub page for the Crouton project and open up the README page. I'll leave a link to the page in the description. When you are on the README page, scroll down to the Usage section and click on this link here. This will download the Crouton script to your Downloads folder. Now while you are in a Chrome browser, hit Ctrl Alt T on your keyboard to bring up the Chrome shell. On the Chrome shell, type shell to bring up a Linux shell. With the next command, we will be initiating a Ubuntu-based Linux install and also determine what desktop environment we will be using. I'm going to be using XFCE because it is a lighter desktop and will run better on my Celeron-based Chromebook. If you have a more powerful Chromebook, you may want to try out KDE, which is a much fancier desktop. Now type this current command I'm typing. This command will tell Crouton that I want to install Linux with the XFCE desktop and to include touchscreen support. I will leave a list of commands in the description if instead you want to use KDE desktop or do not have a touchscreen. When executing the command, the installation process will begin. Get yourself a drink because you will be waiting. The installation lasted around 12 minutes for me. Depending on your internet connection, it may take longer or shorter. Once the installation is done, you will be asked to create a new username and password. Do that and the install will be finished. Now let's exit out of Chrome and bring it back up as if we just restarted. You want to bring up the Chrome shell again. Again, you do this by hitting Ctrl, Alt, and T at the same time. Now type shell and type sudo start xfce4. Now Linux will start booting up. And we're in. Okay now, I'm going to run some tests by installing some apps and games to see how they run. So before we get into the apps, let me show you how you would switch between Chrome OS and Linux. Let's get some apps open here. And a keyboard combo to switch between OS's is Control, Alt, Shift, and Forward. Or you can use Control, Alt, Shift, and Back. And as you can see, we are now in Chrome OS. And to go back to Linux, you hit the same keyboard combo, Control, Alt, Shift, Forward. It's that simple. Now let's get to the apps. So let's begin by installing the apps we want. First, let's install the GIMP image editor. Now let's install Blender. And for some entertainment, let's install Steam, just to see how gaming is. And we're done installing. Let's test out GIMP by doing a quick edit. I downloaded two images from the internet and I'm going to combine them. So let's open up GIMP. While it's loading, let's navigate to the folder with the images. Let's take this landscape folder and use it as our background. Now 
Now let's take this cute puppy and drag him into the landscape. He's pretty big, so let's shrink him by using the scale tool. That size looks about right. Let's move Rover over here. And we're done. Let's export this as a PNG and open the exported image in the desktop environment. And here it is. Open it up and put it full screen. Rover looks confused. Okay, that's enough of GIMP, so let's close this and go on to the next test. Now let's open up some Blender 3D models I downloaded and see how Blender performs. Okay, let's open up this Audi R8 model. Let's zoom in and pan around. The frame rate is pretty low but usable. On this Chromebook you want to stick with simpler models. Let's render this scene. Now that's a pretty ugly car. <laughs> took about 35 seconds to render this car. On my desktop PC with an i5-7400, it took 8 seconds to render the same scene. Now let's quit out of Blender and let's open up another model. Again, we have a pretty low frame rate in the preview window. Let's pan and zoom. And now let's render. Ooh, this is a much more complex model. The renderer estimates a render time of three hours. Let's fast forward till the render is done. Well folks, looks like that second 3D model was way too complex for my Chromebook. It crashed Blender after three minutes of rendering. My desktop was able to finish the rendering in 20 minutes. If you are curious how the final image looks, here it is. The final test will be gaming. After all, we don't want this to be all work and no play. Let's open up the Steam app. Now Limbo seems to be a game that should run well. The art style in this game is really good and I'm getting a smooth frame rate. This is definitely 100% playable. Let's try something more advanced now. How about some Left 4 Dead? I'm expecting some major disappointment when running this game. Loading is really slow. Frame rate is smooth, but the resolution is really low. Oh, once on gameplay, I'm getting periodic stutters. Let's see what res this game is running at. 640 by 480. That's way lower than HD. But I expected this. The chip on this Chromebook isn't really meant for gaming. Let's continue with the game. I get moments of smoothness, but then a stutter occurs that ruins the experience. Okay, that's it with gaming. If you don't have high expectations on playing the latest games, then you'll be fine with the less demanding games to help you waste time. So there you go. That's Linux on a Chromebook. The experience isn't bad at all, even on a system with a low end Celeron chip. Now this is totally unofficial and puts your Chromebook at risk for malware, so only do this if you know exactly what you're doing. On the bright side, Google is working on a separate project to get official Linux app support, so you won't have to sacrifice security in the future. You can even try it now if you have a supported Chromebook. However, it's in the very early stages, so do not expect a stable or feature-rich experience. But it shows that Google is heading in the right direction. Anyway, that's Linux running in parallel to Chrome OS. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know why in the comments. Thanks for watching and goodbye.